is Mauricio Pita, and I am the stage director for Ana y su Sombra. This is uh, the first opera that I am directing. Ana y su Sombra is um, a story of immigration. Um, it's a story that poses questions uh, about what it's like to leave something behind and having to uh, discover who you are and your identity. Um, it's about the battle between um, the things that makes us who we are and our possible futures and the things that we can hope to achieve. Um, it is a story of uh, freedom. It is a story of hope. Um, and it has a beautiful, complicated music um, that is challenging and that is giving us a tremendous gift or it's giving me a tremendous gift as a director because it has so many clues as to what is actually happening on stage just in the music. When I first heard the score, I was sort of overwhelmed because it was a lot of it that in my mind was hard to sort of map out in terms of what is happening, what is happening emotionally here, what is, what is going on. And as we started to work on it, it was pretty incredible how it informed gestures, looks, places to walk, the way in which we walk, the, the relationship, the conflict, the emotional quality of these people. of conflict in the opera. There's the conflict of the young person and the parent. There's an internal conflict uh, of the character, and I think that is showcased in the relationship with the shadow, Anna and her shadow. Sh the shadow, to me, represents sort of the those inner thoughts, the, the, those things that we sort of hold inside that we don't really show, but that we're deeply desire to show, um, but we are too scared to do it, or we think that we're not capable of doing. So it's about that internal desire um, and, and conflict of, of what I'm supposed to be and what I really think I need to be or really am. When you develop feelings for someone, what happens um, with that? How does that change the way you see yourself in the world? And then even for the um, shadows in the world, there's conflict as well as to who we are and who do we choose to be that day. There's an entire conversation about identity um, in the opera. It is tackled in all of these complexes. Shadows and the opera play multiple functions to showcase uh, guardian figures, people who protect you, that are there to guide you, to challenge you, to show you what is not clearly seen with your just your eyes. They're there to provide that perspective that you that society is kind of saying, don't look at it, or don't go there. Shadows are saying, there's a new way of life. Look at this way of life. Look at this possibility. Look at that possibility. They really are the forces that allow us to be free, which is eliminating fears, eliminating anxieties. The metaphorical use of it, I think it's that to challenge that sense of identity of who we are. Language is a huge part of the immigrant experience, right? It's also part of our identity. So in the opera, language is used not just as a cultural force for identity, but it's also used as a way to show who these people are in terms of their status in society um, and the relationships that they have with their past as well. The character of Ana, for example, chooses to speak Spanish to hold on to her past and her heritage. And in fact, she uses language as a weapon and at times to sort of say, this is, this is what is valuable to me. It was really fun to have those moments where that's why this is in this dialect and this is why this character chooses to say something in English in that point, which is very uh, minimal in the opera, but there's a few moments where that happens. Uh, and those moments matter and they stick out a lot.
I believe this opera is catered to all ages. I would say, um, and especially between the 8 and 15, could really, really relate to the story because I think it tackles things that they're going through at that age. Ana y su Sombra is a story of um, identity, fun, uh, family, um, love. You uh, are going to want to dance and join us. <laughs> and there's moments where you're going to be really moved by what we're making. There's uh, some wonderful surprises that we have and um, I hope that you're able to experience it.